guys, it's Jace, um, it's Tuesday, and this week's topic is, um, our, the process that we went through when we changed our name, um, if we have, and our gender, and any difficulties we experienced with doing so. Um, so the first thing that I changed was my name. Name, I live in Oregon, um, and name, changing your name here is really easy. All you have to do is go online and print the papers out, um, fill, fill, follow the instructions, fill the ones that you're supposed to fill out first, go into the court, have them sign everything, and watch you sign stuff, and post your name change for 14 days, and then set up a hearing date, um, and then you come back, and you have your hearing date, and it's approved. Um, basically... Um, I think my total or the actual name change was about a hundred and then they add or maybe it was a hundred and five and then they add um, fees on if you want extra copies of your name change paper which I recommend getting because you have to change your name in a lot of different places such as the DMV uh, social security office and they're gonna want to have a copy of that so I suggest that you get multiple copies um yeah I changed my name was the first thing I did and then after I did that I went and changed my name started changing my name on my um, legal documents like my driver's license um, health card at school um, I cannot change my name, uh, I have yet to change my name on my birth certificate, um, um, because there's a little bit of a complication around that, which I will touch on a little bit later, but yeah, changing my name is super easy, um, it's not that expensive if you think about it, um, but yeah. Um, changing your gender is a little bit harder because it, re at least in my state, it requires that you, um, have a, a note from a doctor, um, saying that you have started to, tr to transition. Um, and I know in some states, in some places, you have to have certain things, like you have to have started testosterone, testosterone or um, started or got surgery, but that's not how it is where I live. I just needed to get a note from my doctor saying that I understand what I'm doing and that I've started my transition process. So I got that from her. And then pretty much from there, it's the same as name change. You go to the court, fill out the forms, set up your date, come back, it's done. Um, and then, yeah, I, just like my name, I changed my gender on my, most of my documents. I still have yet to do all of them. Um, I cannot change my name or change my gender on my birth certificate because I was actually born in Tennessee. And it's, I think, one of three states that does not yet allow you to change your gender on your birth certificate. So that really sucks, but um, it's okay. Um, I think the most difficulty that I've had with the changing documents is not doing stuff in the correct order and not doing it all together at once. Um, because what I've run into is um, chain, changing something and then waiting and then it not matching something else that I need, like my license not matching my health card, and then they're questioning, like, is this the, really the person? Um, so yeah, make sure you do stuff in the correct order, and make sure you do them pretty close to each other because then you're gonna have documents that are not matching 
and you're either gonna have to pull out your legal thing and then it's gonna be it's gonna take a lot longer to do what you want to do that day um, but yeah most of the problems I've had is not with the actual changing it's just stuff not matching up or my name haven't has not completely gone through the system and so um, like I had an incident at the airport my name had um, it hadn't gone through the social security system completely because they do they update their system quarterly and so it hadn't reached that quarter when they update and so when I went through the security system I had accidentally left my photo ID in a bag that they checked and so I had to do this big thing and since they had to do an extra check on me um, they couldn't find my name and they uh, yeah, it was just, it was a big mess, um, and it was really uncomfortable because everyone was looking at me. So, don't do that. Make sure you try and get all your stuff changed together and as quickly as possible so you don't have things that don't match each other. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's pretty easy to change your stuff. It's not that hard. It's gonna cost you $200 to 10 total for your gender and name change but overall that's not too bad um so yeah that's pretty much it all right guys bye